Hi guys. So, I've stripped it down a little bit. I took the uh, chain guard off of there. This was some modification I made to it so it could hold that generator for the lights, which is six volt, came from, uh, I don't remember right now. Anyway, took that off there and uh, got this torque converter up here, as you can see, and just kind of eyeballing things and looking. And you can see how it hits down here. Now, what it looks like to me is unlike the TAV, I see you guys all having to cut one of these things off back here. This one doesn't have one right there. They made it without it. I guess they foresaw that. But the motor needs to come up enough to make clearance because I don't want to have to chop the bottom of this plate off. And even if I do, this will still rub on there. And then I have to contend with my kill switch wires up here in the front. Move this over here so you can see what I'm talking about. Down in here. My kill switch wires are coming. This is the ground to the motor, which runs up to the switch, and this comes back here. And I got it wired into the whole wiring thing. I never did disconnect my uh, low oil thing. I figured, you know... That's there for a reason. And uh, if there's not enough oil to trigger that thing, it doesn't need to be running anyway. So, there's a fail-safe thing. I might as well just leave it alone. Anyway, so I'm sitting here thinking, do I have any nuts and bolts that are longer? I've got some of the tubing that I made this frame out of, which I think if I raised it up that much, which I think that's an inch and a half, I think if I raise it up that much, it would be enough. But I gotta figure out a way to do it. And that's what I'm sitting here contemplating. As I shade the whole thing, you can't see nothing. But anyway, yeah. Just toying with it for right now. Uh, so that's where I'm at. Well, I remembered that when I was building this thing, I made this plate. And it's just the perfect size for the bottom of that engine, which gives me a good reference on what I need to work with. So I took that and some of that square tubing that I built that frame out of. I got that my little, you know, cutoff saw. I guess you can see that. Yeah, there it is. Anyway, and I cut off two pieces of that, the same width as that plate. And my plan is to take and drill holes all the way through it in accordance to that plate where the mounting bolts on the engine go and run some big long bolts like so all the way up through the bottom, up through this, up through the motor, through that other plate, which will help keep it from wanting to wobble back and forth, I hope. And put some nuts and lock washers and things like that on there. And see if that raises it up enough to where I can, well, we'll see if that's enough, you know, for that torque converter to work right. So I'm going to drill these holes, clean these up, and give her a go. So I've got the engine unbolted and moved out of the way. And I had forgotten how I had put that together on the other side. I actually had these bolts running all the way up through the frame because the motor was as far over as it could go. That's the way it had to be for the sprockets to line up. And so that changes my nut and bolt situation. But 
I think if I just bolt that straight down to this with the bolts that I've got there and then come up through here with another bolt and nut into the motor should be alright and then the long ones like I thought up through there anyway I'm gonna try to work it out and I'll let you know how it goes here's what it should look like something like that this plate on there something to that effect getting everything lined up is going to be tricky but yeah that's the plan hopefully this is just experimental so we'll see how that works out see if that raises that up enough for me to be able to put that torque converter on there I suppose I could just balance it on there and look huh bear with me a sec See that? I've got you out of focus there. Look at that. I think. I think I may be in business. I also noticed when I'm watching videos, everybody takes this shield off of there. I don't know why. I don't get that either. I don't see any reason for it. Unless this little tab right there hits it. And everybody drills new holes so they can reposition it. I'll have to look into that when I get a little further. I'm going to bolt that motor down for starters. And then I can monkey around without worrying about knocking it off and breaking something. There she is, all bolted down. I know you're wondering, what's what's missing in that picture? What, what, what's going on? What's missing? The seat post. Remember I built that to where I could slip it in and slip it out. Well, if I didn't want it there, it didn't have to be there. Anyway, I just picked it up, I pulled it up out of there and get it out of the way. So, good deal. I'm on the way to uh, putting that torque converter plate up on there and uh, bolting her down. Cool, huh? Yeah. So I was placing this torque converter plate up in there and eyeballing it, trying to get the bolt holes line up. And the bolt holes line up. But remember I was saying everybody's always cutting these things off? Well, all it's hitting on is this plastic cap for the oil checking filler. And you've got one in the front with a dipstick and if you're going to check it there, you're not going to be able to get to that anyway. I'm just going to cut that off. Make sure it's good and tight. I got my Dremel tool out here and I'm just going to buzz that off kind of at an angle. I can still get a hold of it if I have to, but anyway, that's the plan. see what happens <laughs> right right and it slipped right on there okay I'm just buttoning this up um, to check fitment and stuff and I can tell right away that there's no way in the world my sprocket's gonna line up like that it needs to come out about that far so I need to move the whole motor over toward the center of the machine which is good, I like that. I'd rather it be centered. But I'll just have to uh, reroute my throttle cable here. I don't know if you can see that. I've got that set up. See how it comes right through the plate here? Uh, have to move the whole thing over however much and probably drill another hole, unhook it from the carburetor and reroute it. 
I've got another hole here, but I'll probably have to go over far enough to cover that. Anyway, that's not a big deal. Just a matter of drilling a hole somewhere, wherever. I've got another hole drilled over here. If I come over far enough, I can use that one. So, uh, yeah. Check this out. I took the uh, the 41, pitch 41 chain gear and put on there and put the 35 chain there. And man, that has got it lined up just about perfect. And this is the bushing for the front that came with it. Well, I had the foresight when I saw some of these one day and I grabbed one and it's twice as big and that's a little loose on there anyway put this one on there and should be able to put it together the cover may not fit on it because everything's sticking out too far but I can at least put it on there and see what happens so I'm going to give it a go and uh, see what happens I'll have to cut that chain and get it to fit but that's okay I'm not going backwards anyway and going back to that centrifugal clutch I'm retiring that rascal and I don't like it I looked at them online today 95 bucks I saw one Hilliard extreme duty centrifugal clutch they wanted 95 bucks for that piece of crap I can't believe it well we made good progress today but fact is it's all going to come back apart uh, the motors over too far spacing those out on that torque converter does not work there's no room for the uh, nut on the driven pulleys and it's just not right so I'm about running out of steam and just the thought of having to unbolt that motor again and reposition it is just more than I want to tackle right now so I'll come back out and hit it again tomorrow but uh, that's where I'm at for now so yeah coming along it's gonna be good and I uh, in the process of doing this finding out that that rear tire was chunking and clunking because of the clutch not because of the tire itself and look at this, I've got the, uh, I shortened the chain, cut it, moved my uh, master link, and reset it, tweaked on his brake mechanism a little bit, that rattling, it's actually turning the driven on the torque converter, that's pretty smooth. I could be happy with that. Alright, so anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll show you more tomorrow when I uh, get something else done. Alright, All right, see ya. Have a good night.